All right, today we're talking about worksheet number two, specifically safety labels. This should go pretty quickly. Under what conditions should you label the materials you're using in a lab? Well, it depends. If you walk away, that's one reason, right? Um, another reason is, let's say that you have two beakers of stuff, two beakers of a liquid, right? Well, a lot of times, you can't tell the difference between one liquid and another. They're both, for example, clear. That's very, very common. So you might have an acid over here in one, and you might have a base over here in the other, and you can't tell which is which. So you, you should label anything where there's any question of what the material is, uh, in case you might ever forget. So those are examples of why you might label something while you're in a lab. What does a red diamond on a safety label indicate? Well, that's pretty easy. That one's fire. Right? And it gives you the indication of how prone this particular chemical is to fire. Right? So a zero on a red diamond would indicate that it is not flammable, that it's not going to burn. Okay? An example of something like this might be water. Right? Whereas a four on the diamond, and the four is the highest number, uh, the four would indicate that this thing is uh, will just start burning spontaneously at room temperature, for example. Right? So it's really, really, really dangerous. So this is something you don't want to mess with. Oh, and by the way, we don't have any of that in the lab. Right. Why does a blue, what does a blue diamond indicate? Well, a blue diamond indicates a health hazard. Right Now, if you have something that has a zero on it, then it is not a health hazard. But something with a four on it would be extremely toxic, extremely poisonous. So this is something that, again, you would not want to, uh, would not want to play with. So a zero means that it's safe and it won't hurt you, but a four means that it is uh, potentially toxic. So what does yellow mean? Well, that's reactivity. How much is something going to react with something else? Right? So a zero means it doesn't react. So something like gold, for example, does not react very well. So it might be a zero or a one. Right? But something that has, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be a four. What has a or on the yellow diamond, what does it indicate? Well, it is something that is extremely reactive. reactive. Potentially explosive, right? And potentially explosive without doing anything to it. Right? So something that is has a four is extremely reactive. And what does a white diamond indicate in some examples? Well, a white diamond are special considerations or special circumstances, call them what you want, what you will. Right. So, for example, this might be something that is radioactive. It might be an acid. It might be a base. Those are examples. Uh, potentially, it could be um, if you get it near water. It could be hazardous. For example, sodium reacts with water. So. Uh, anything with a white diamond will have something specific that says this is a very specific thing that is unique to this chemical. All right, we're done. Hope that helps. If you have any more questions, see one of us in class. We'll be happy to help you. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.